first thing I'm going to start with is um, it, it's a it's a Carl Caput video, and I have an idea what this is about, and we're going to check it out and we're going to see what's going on with it. Uh, I I have an idea of what it's about, so I guess this Tuesday we're coming out just guns firing today. So uh, let's see. Dieser S fair. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Carl Kaput. Streamers. Streamer drama. Let's hit it. Auf der Messe war. Also CRG hat es gesehen und hat es auch gefeiert. Genau. Wait a second. Und, This is in German. Äh, ich habe noch was anderes erfahren, wobei ich hier nicht weiß, ob es wirklich stimmt. Ähm, und zwar von dieser Griefer Orga, dieser s fair oder wie der heißt. Uh, der wurde, okay, I know exactly what they're talking about. Gesagt, der ist ja gebannt bis 2031. Und der war wohl angeblich, so wurde es mir mitgeteilt, ähm, war der wohl äh, vor dem Messerangriff nicht gebannt. Also offenbar... Okay, so they set up an event and gestern, Griefernet apparently uh, attacked them. Während des Events gebannt, sozusagen. Aber ich weiß nicht, ob das stimmt. Das wurde no, he wasn't so banned. Mitgeteilt. Ich kann das nicht bewerten, weil ich habe das eben auch nicht gesehen. Du hast weg schon gebannt. Uh, nee, angeblich nicht. Der ist wohl komplett gebannt. No, he's not. Bis 31. He's not. Ein bisschen Starter Beta. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me see this. They clearly violate the rules. CIG has the right to deny them access because of it. And they take the right to do it without payment. No, they refund everybody. Let banned people go to court. They will have documented their actions with real names linked publicly. They didn't ban them. That much I know. I, I, I know what this is all in about. So. No, they're not going to. CIG is not going to ban them. CIG. All right, so for... For context, because he, he, I don't think he's going to go into context with this. So what happened was they, this group, may um, set up an event, and apparently, CIG promoted it. Okay, they put this all out on Twitter. Blah blah blah. There was like a whole bunch of people, like I guess like fifteen hundred people watching this event. This, that, and the other, and Griefernet came by and apparently attacked them and exploded a bunch of stuff and completely ruined their event. That being said, you're streaming an event. It was promoted by CIG. You put it on Twitter, you put it in your Discords, you put it everywhere. It's not Griefernet's fault. And if you really want to blame somebody, blame CIG. They haven't put in a law system yet. They haven't put in a reputation system yet. People are going to do what people do when there's big events. Some people are going to watch. Some people are going to participate. And some people might be assholes. So it's your job as the person running the event to protect your event. It's not CIG's job. CIG did not sponsor this. CIG did not sanction this. It was promoted by CIG. That's it. Let's see if Carl brings up. No, it's Ladies not. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found what could quite possibly be the Care Bearers of Care Bear streamers. This streamer ran a community event which got crashed by the grieferist of griefers, grief in that. <laughs> Carl. has reacted badly to this. Falsely claiming members of Griefernet have been banned. They haven't been banned. But what really grinds my gears is the fact that they've resorted to calling them Nazis. No, As no. someone whose grandfather was forced to fight for Germany and getting wounded at Stalingrad, this really pisses me off. They're German. They should fucking know better. The event had little air cover and claimed that because it was a CIG endorsed event that developers were there, that it shouldn't be crashed and that those who did should be banned. Yet CIG have stated in the past that emergent gameplay is something they want in their game. Yeah. They want the verse to... So, and the other thing that... Um, so, I guess this was an industrial event of some sort. I, I also, from what I understand, they set up over Area 17 on Art Corp. If you set... Okay, they set up over Area 17. Not Area 18. Not Lorville. 
not Orison, not New Babbage. They set up over Area 17. Area 17 doesn't have an armistice zone. So you're foregoing all protection. And on top of that, I don't... Uh, yeah, those areas do. All those areas I named off, they do have hard armistice. You can't shoot. So that's, that's your fault. On top of that, you stream the event. If you're worried about being attacked or you're holding an event that you don't want interrupted, put a delay on. Put a delay on. Or... I don't know, cut the scene when you're on your way jumping to a point so people don't know where the event is being held at. You have the tools, you have the means, use them. Otherwise, you're just an idiot. And then when you get on Spectrum and Reddit and all these other places and call people Nazis like they, these guys did, I guess, and you call them griefers and you whine and stamp your feet, stomp your feet, that CIG should take care of it, it was your damn fault. It was nobody else's fault but yours. I'll, I'll let Carl continue. To be dangerous. I don't know about you, but people throwing the word Nazi around is unacceptable and it just goes into the common behavior of throwing slurs around nobody because they don't what like a someone's Nazi way of playing anymore. the game. It's I've an experienced this myself. Now. Recently, I randomly shot a Banu defender while low flying and it was why I was able to make the latest chase video. The server I was in quickly got annoyed, telling me that my mother must have bullied me. But this isn't the worst of it. I've heard stories of people who's been told that they should delete themselves. And other shit like that because something that happened in the game. If anything, oh, CIG should Your be banning the people throwing the these slurs around. Now, it's difficult- that, That's the thing. Boo-hoo. Your feelings got hurt. It's a damn game. It's a game. It's a game. I don't know what it is about the Star Citizen community. But the Star Citizen community is full of a bunch of crybaby wine asses that aren't even playing a fully developed game, first off. Secondly, go play a game like Tarkov or DayZ or games like that where there's real consequences for dying. What's the consequence for dying in here? You lost a little bit of time? Hey, what's up, pork chop? This, this, this is ridiculous. You whine and you bitch because somebody crashed your event. You didn't take the means or the precautions to protect your event. You could have hired, you could have had security there. You could have had, you know, a delay on your stream. You could have, you know, covered up where this event was being, was taking place. You could have done all kinds of things to make sure you didn't get interrupted, but you didn't. And it makes you look like an ass. And now that you're throwing around slurs, like the Nazi word, that's... You're, you're, you're just a bitch. That's it. You're just a bitch. To insult me and most insults just end up with me laughing at them. But other people may react in a way that could be damaging to their mental health and cause them to do hurtful things to themselves. I've come to the belief that Care Bears are the real griefers and not the so-called griefers. So what if you get blown up in a game? Taking things multiple steps too far because you're unhappy is completely childish and definitely should result in a ban. This, this is what happens, I don't know about in the EU or Germany specifically, but this is the kind of shit that happens when you give everybody a fucking trophy, even when they lose. This, this is the kind of shit that happens. It's bringing the game down, and the risk of damaging someone's well-being isn't something people should do at all. This is yet if another example of to why certain take, streamers should be given sports a and they give them a trophy for losing. The I'm taking the trophy. Most likely I'm because they want their content to be protected. It's something that shouldn't be tolerated. As I've said before, streamers and content creators have responsibility to promote healthy gameplay. Yeah. They now do. you may say crashing these events isn't healthy, it's but it's playing not. the game how the game allows. And yes. But resorting to insults is reminiscent of a 12-year-old playing Call of Duty. If this is allowed to continue, Star Citizen will have a similar reputation and will turn more people away than we'd like. No, 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 no. See, the problem is, is that my worry is that CIG is going to overreact and they're going to severely limit PvP, which will be fine for some people, but then it'll turn into a game where everybody's out mining by themselves, cargo running by themselves, there's no risk, there's no nothing, there's no possible engagement for player to player like player to player interaction whether it's you know hostile or friendly 
and people will get bored and then they'll walk away and it'll turn into Elite Dangerous, which is now basically running on a single server. You, you don't want that to happen. I'm sorry, you don't want it to happen. If you don't want to engage in PvP, there's plenty of ways to not engage in PvP. I don't care if you're a cargo runner, a miner, w whatever you are doing. There's plenty of ways to not engage in PvP. Plenty of ways. Plenty. At the end of the day, what happens within the game should remain in the game. People should be more mature and accept that event crashing can happen and take it on the chin. Taking things out of the game is a line that should not be fucking crossed. Alrighty, so that was... Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Why did it do that? Why did you do that? Space Bob, what's up? So that was Carl Kaput. Um, the... That was going over the the drama that happened, I guess, over the weekend. Some some event was crashed by Griefer not again. It, I mean, this has become their mo. If you do an event and you're a large enough streamer, Griefer net is going to hit you. Um, let's leave a like, let's share this. They're going to hit you, so it's on the event promoter to set up security, set up some form of defense, whether it's a stream delay, not showing the location, only using the Discord to, 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 do, uh, to share the location with people that are participating in the event, et cetera, et cetera. There, there was plenty of ways to have this avoided. He didn't do it. He paid the ultimate price by having his, um, uh, his event crashed. That's his, that's his fault. That's his fault. That's nobody else's fault. He shouldn't have thrown around. I'm not afraid to use it. He shouldn't have thrown around the word Nazis because these guys griefed him. I'm sorry. That's not what that word means. It's ridiculous. It's it. That word actually used to mean something and it meant something evil. Now it's just a, a, a hollow word that gets thrown around when people get angry and I'm kind of sick of it. So to the guy that got your event crashed, Seriously, dude, grow up, grow up. You had the means to, to, to stop that from happening. You didn't use them. That's on you. So Carl Kaput and streamers like this are Care Bears. And I agree. I agree a hundred percent.